All right, look, I just, I just, I just stopped the Scarface review because Demo has sent me this, and uh, new law gives Twitch streamers felony jail time. Now, I read this where I started the review. I mean, the message that he sent to me, and now I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm very curious as to how badly we're gonna get fucked here. So. Let's take a look and see, shall we? I gotta... Oh, wait, you have your sound. All right, because that's right. I was on Patreon, so I don't have to worry about YouTube. There will be a Scarface Untouchable album review. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna go about doing it, dude. Stop. Seriously. Senator Tom Tillis has now introduced a new law that would force Twitter streamers to jail. What? Get a felony conviction. Bro, I just... I just... I just got a PlayStation 4, man. I just got one. I just got one. Like, just got one. I figured out how to set the fucking thing up finally. And now you're telling me I can't do it? You want to send me to jail for fuck for, for, for what? For what? For what? For what? Who is this fucking guy? For multiple DMCA copyright strikes. Worse, Senator Tillis is trying to force this new law into this large bill that Congress is rushing to pass by the end of the year. If we do... So wait, 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 wait. So you're a media, you're a lawyer. How are you a social media lawyer, sir? What the fuck does that mean? This is fucking ridiculous. Do not stop this right now. How? It won't only be Twitch streamers that are affected. YouTube, it obviously. All social media content. How is YouTube not taken down before Twitch? Somebody explain that to me. Creators just like you. Let me explain. Not that I want it to be. I mean, look, I got 573, you motherfucker. I'm the only motherfucker on YouTube that puts out content and loses subscribers. I just want to put that out there. And fuck you, by the way. If you subscribe to my channel for one song and then you leave, go fuck yourself and don't ever come back, dude. Do me the fucking favor. I don't need you around here, dude. Trying to build some shit. And every five seconds, you got some cunt telling me about how I'm going to go to jail for trying to do it. But I just legalized weed. Now you want to put me in jail for playing video games? Can I catch a fucking break, man? Now I'm at my computer so we can really dig into this new proposed law. Let me switch it over to the desktop here. Uh, the first article where I heard about this proposed new law was from Dexarto, uh, which is a well-known online gaming forum and news. How do they? How do they do this? Like he's got his whole face over the back of the page. How do they do that? That's probably a green screen thing, right? News site. It says here, U.S. Senator wants Twitch streamers to face jail time for DMCA strikes. Cunt. I also read about it on this website called Kotaku. A uh, proposed U.S. law could slap Twitch streamers with felonies for broadcasting copyrighted material. Let's focus on this article first. It says here that Twitch streamers may face jail time when they're hit with multiple DMCA strikes on the Amazon-owned streaming platform if a proposal from Senator Tom Tillis is successfully squeezed into Congress's 11th hour omnibus bill. We understand that this bill has been delayed, I believe, to December 18th, 2020. What it, but what? Oh, God, help me. Oh, give me this right to detail. Accept the things I cannot change and change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's God damn illegal. it. These motherfuckers make me wanna, ugh. Way. Let's move on to this situation. It says here, this time around, Senator Tillis is using the chance to take aim at copyright material being broadcast on Twitch and shared in YouTube and Instagram videos. What do you care, North Carolina? Of course you would be, you fucking scumbag. Fucking North Carolina. Ugh. Look, nothing personal against any any good people that live there, dude. But y'all produce some real fucking shit. Some real fucking shit heels come out of the South, bro. The North Carolina representative... Not, not that... Look, people... Scumbags from the North. <coughs> scumbags from the North. You know, we, we try to... It seems like we try to work our way into... You know, being doctors and fucking... Lawyers and cops and shit. 
people down south didn't want to be on you know, politicians and 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 uh, you know, death row fucking workers or whatever. You guys are some different shit. Believes law enforcement should be given effective tools to combat. That's crazy. That's crazy. What does that mean? Effective tools. I bet you suck my dick. How about that for an effective tool? Fucking scumbag. Who the fuck is this guy? Streaming proposal available to read online recommends any streamer or creator who shares a song, album, or unauthorized video clip in a commercial setting should face a felony offense possible yeah. prison sentence. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. That's not good. That makes that makes a whole lot of sense, dude, you fucking cunt lapper. Look at your face, bro. Oh, I just wanna punch you in your mouth. I just wanna punch you in your I'm gonna punch your mother in her fucking mouth for not swallowing your bitch ass, dude. Fuck out of here, man. Always trying to fuck over somebody, huh? What, you're the only one that's allowed to get a come up in this fucking world? Do you know how many people... Do you know how many people... Would be able to make a living off of streaming fucking video games? That otherwise probably wouldn't be able to do really shit? Like, this gives people the opportunity to really try to make something of themselves. And maybe avoid dealing drugs. Because there's an easier way you could play video games and build a thing. Like, that's a stupid thing. But, I mean, for some people, that's a reality, dude. So what I did is I went to his online proposal. And then we're going to do that so we can take you through it. Please. Because I think that when you actually read that online proposal, you will see that any intent of this senator to punish Twitter streamers and YouTube streamers and people on social media based upon his proposal is absolutely preposterous. The proposal really has nothing to do with game streaming. It has everything to do with, with music and TV, and TV yeah. streaming that is being pirated by people outside of America. So let's check it out. All right, so this is the course of action letter that that article references. This is from the Register of Copyrights of the United States of America to Senator Tillis and also- Fuck you, fuck you. I just want to say that for the record. Fuck you, you fucking scumbag. You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. And I know I shouldn't curse so much, but you know what, dude? You gotta be a real scumbag to try to take... The ranking member of the subcommittee on electoral... Do we not, do we not, do we not arrest enough people in this fucking country? Huh? We gotta fucking... I gotta stop cursing so much, dude. Because it makes me sound unintelligent. And that's exactly the opposite of what I want to come across as. Especially in, a, in an event you like this. Do you have any idea how many people get arrested in this country every day? Do you realize we have a prosecutor running the country right now? We will be in a couple of months. A prosecutor that's gonna take over and run everything. Look at her record, man. Look at her record, dude. And you got people like this. People like this who are going to be backed from people like that, dude. This is what we really need. We're, this country is, is, is fucked, for lack of a better term. We are fucked. We got herpes and we're dripping outside the clinic, dude. It's not good. Property, you'll see here whoops, that it is dated July 18th. 2019 so this is a while back the yeah and also sir if i if i may if i could address the uh person doing the video why is it that they're able to how come if you're a lawyer maybe you're not gonna watch this maybe what are your friends fans whatever the, you call them uh you know how is it that they can put something into law in 2019 and we don't hear about it until 2020, almost 2021. Now, what happens? I know they pile bills on top of each other. They did the same thing with weed. They tried to legalize weed in New Jersey. Uh, they tried to pass a decriminalization bill, rather. And I got nothing against mushrooms. I'm not looking to trip. And, uh, oh, by the way, you know, somebody wants me to do acid, dude. I don't want to do it. I don't think it would be good for me. I don't think that I have the type of brain that would function well on something like that. I don't think I need to hallucinate. I think I've seen enough terrible things in my life that, you know, and good things too, but more bad things. I don't think I need to do that to myself. But the point is this. They tried to push a decriminalization bill through in New Jersey that was supposed to 
add up to six ounces you can carry on you at a time. But they tried to pass in that the the consequences, not the term I'm looking for, for mushrooms be lower. That's what they added on to the bill, and they free, they do this shit all the time. Even if it's for a good reason, they still try to be sneaky about it, and I don't agree with that. I don't think that's what the spirit of America is supposed to be. And I know, I know it takes balls for me to say that, if you look through the country's history, but I mean as far as the voting is concerned and, and democracy is concerned. That's not what this, this this country doesn't shouldn't do things like this. Try to try to sneak bills past you. That's not we should vote on everything, in my opinion. Not that and everybody would be against this, but I, I believe we should have a say in everything. I really that's what a democracy is. You shouldn't make a choice without consulting us. All of us. You held a national election like you do for the president, right, for regular things. We want to pass this bill that's going to make it a felony crime to, to stream copyrighted content. What do you all want to do? And then we put it up to a vote, and what happens happens, rather than you all deciding for yourselves and having us have no say. Right's conclusion is, unfortunately, the rise of streaming as a primary model for content distribution has coincided with a similar increase in streaming piracy. And then there's a quote here that says, Indeed, a recent industry report noted that while video streaming of movies and television content is on the rise, with over 500 licensed portals worth worldwide, digital video piracy causes between $29.2 billion and $71 billion in lost revenue. And they actually cite a report, let's see, this is going to be footnote three right here, that is entitled, Impacts of Digital Video Piracy on the U.S. Economy. I'm going to save you the time. I actually have the report. I went through it in detail. Thank God. Bottom line is the report pertains to data that was gathered back in 2017. This is the net neutrality thing, right? Has everything to do with people stealing film and TV video from streaming platforms. And yeah, but I pay for all my shit. I pay for all my shit, dude. I pay for Amazon. I pay for Hulu. I fucking I, we bought our Roku TV. You know, we, we pay for our shit. I pay a dollar on Joey Diaz Patreon. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, I, I bought the games that I fucking play on the PlayStation. Isn't that the whole point? It's like an advertisement for the goddamn game. Now, I know most of this is about stealing television. And, and, and I mean, I, have to, I might have to cut my intros then, dude. Because this is what I do. That's what I've done. Always. My entire life. I'm always going to do it. Whether I release it or not, I'm always going to do it. But... I mean, I pay for my shit, so what the fuck? You know, I'm not stealing, but I mean, I don't think worst things you could do. I mean, I get what I, whatever. Really nothing to do with online game streaming. So when they use this particular report as evidence that- And I should be stealing. I should be stealing everything. I fucking need the money, man. There is an increase in- I only steal what I need, dude. If I needed to eat, absolutely. I would rob food, but that's it. I'm not going to steal, you know, fucking... Well, that's greedy. Copyright violations for Twitch streams or YouTube streams. That is absolutely wrong. This report is old data, and it pertains mostly to people outside the United States. So hacking. why... What are you doing? I'm hacking the FBI. So why are we... Of film why are we constantly being punished for shit that other people do? What? Why? 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 I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. And movies, and taking those and distributing those. Because we deserve it. It's our karma. Because there's a fucking American base in every country in the world. That's why. It doesn't have anything to do with online game streaming. Let's go to the next page here. It says here, music streaming, which constitutes nearly half of the worldwide recorded music market. That's your fault. That's your fault, by the way. I was buying a CDs. I, I rather enjoyed going to the store and looking through the album art and listening to the album. I like it that it's digital and I can take it with me wherever I go and it's convenient, but it has made buying albums, you know, not so good anymore because I can pay a streaming service 
right? Or well, like Amazon, for example, you pay six, but well, I pay six bucks for it. Then, if you want Amazon Music Unlimited, you have to pay another eight dollars a month. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I know it would be worth it, the amount of albums that you would get, but I've had all these, and then as soon as I cut my Amazon, then I lose all that. I'd rather just buy the album and have it. It's similarly affected primarily by the practice of stream ripping. And then it has a footnote right here. Music privacy no longer in the headlines, but still a headache. All right. So again, I'm trying to save you time on this stuff. Review this article and you can see. Why don't we just look at it real quick? Please. All right. So this is the article. Because you're a lawyer, bro. You're going to know. You know the words. I don't know the words. They write things on purpose confusing so that you don't read the agreements i know this shit i still read them anyway and it's the same thing repeated over and over again so you give up oh that the like, register of it. copyrights references in the letter it says music piracy no longer in the headlines but still a headache you know one of the key yeah, you just said insights that. to this article is right here it says in the digital age 38 percent of consumers globally steal music and 32% steal digital music using stream ripping, according to International Federation of Phonographic Industries, 2018 Music Consumer What is Insider stream Report. ripping? Now, stream ripping, of course, is where someone hacks into an existing licensed platform stream, so let's say it's Spotify, mm -hmm. and they copy the copyrighted content from the stream, and then they distribute it. So what we'll do is it says ah, right here. I don't know how to do any of that shit. Uh, I'll just play an album for you when you come over. What am I gonna fucking send it to you for? Eight percent of consumers globally steal music. All right, let's let's see where that's proven. When you click on this report, and it's not proven at all. Get. You get a it's it's all fake. It's all dude. This just goes to show you that they don't need to do anything. They they could do whatever they want. Does, why am I doing this to myself? So I don't know where that report is, but it says... It doesn't exist. It, it says right there, sir, this page you're looking for does not exist. It doesn't have to exist. They can fuck us all day, every day, because most Americans are dumb enough to think that the government cares about them. They really do. They really do. They think the government gives a shit. They don't. They only care about themselves gaining more power getting people to spend money and that's it this page you are looking for does not exist so that's already not a really good point for this you know what dude you remind me of dexter i don't know if anybody ever told you that before but you look like you could be dexter's brother this article it's not based on anything. you sound like i'm a little bit too kind of the evidence say what say what say what say say and then we go down to the bottom, and this is the funniest part about it. Again, the copyright, or the register of copyrights is basing conclusions about whether or not laws should be passed to put Twitter streamers in jail based upon these articles and supposed Ridiculous. reports as evidence. And then it says here, the conclusion of the article is, if there's any good news about stream ripping, it's that it is not as big an issue in the US as it is internationally, said Krupnik, who studied the issue for the past five years. About 10% of internet users steal music using stream ripping in the U.S., he said. Now, I don't know. I'm not an expert in stream ripping, but I... Who could be? Gather that's because it's fairly inexpensive to be a member of one of the streaming, the music streaming platforms. No. And so there's real no reason. If, if all the music is available in the, in the globe to be streamed, there's not really a reason for you to steal music and then... The only reason... No, 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 no. You misunderstand, dude. I don't think they're selling it, sir. What they're doing is they're going into, say, a Spotify, and they're stealing an album. Let's say they decide they want to take DMX, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood album from, like, 98, right? They want to take that album and they download it. Now they're going to put it on their YouTube channel... Not because they're se if they can get past the copyright somehow. If you're smart enough to figure out how to hack into Spotify, I'm sure you could beat YouTube algorithms. But they repost it on YouTube and they can make money like that. Versus who's going to buy an album? You know, I mean, unless you go to the flea market or something or swap me. Somehow try to sell it. No one's going to buy it. So this makes absolutely sense. Because I bought sense. all those like P. Cutter albums. 
for, from the flea market. Again, this is a 2018 conclusion. We're at 2020 and, and about to hit 2021. So I don't know if this article or any of this evidence is really relevant to having a law that would punish streamers for too many it's DMCA not. strikes. I just want to take a moment to talk about what is a DMCA strike. Really what it is, is it's shorthand for a copyright holder filing with a social media platform, a notice which says I, the, the copyright holder, own claiming, this particular yeah, art. Or this, this person video, doesn't have permission to use clip, it. And someone is unlawfully infringing on my rights. And so as a result, I am directing you the social media platform to take it down. Oh, but so let's also let's also talk about how if you put up a copyrighted video and you try to cut the copyright out, YouTube will actually stop you from being able to cut it out. And they will send the money to the to copyright owner and take some for themselves. So you're allowed to have copyrighted material on YouTube when it makes money for YouTube and the copyrighted label, whatever. But if you try to just use the topic on your own, they, they won't let you do that. That's what we're talking they about fuck when your we numbers. reference DMCA strikes. That means on Twitter, good example, you are streaming and you have copyright music in the background that's not authorized. You don't have permission for that. I found that there out the hard There is the possibility way. that Twitter could issue a strike. The copyright holder could file with Twitter a notice under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and it would take down your stream or worse, take down your channel. But I will say that more often than not, from all the anecdotes from my clients, that when there is a DMCA situation in a Twitter or YouTube stream or any other social media platform for that matter, it is usually unintentional and people who stream should not be sent to jail. Most of the time it is unintentional. Like when I have music playing on in the background or Jen's cleaning, she's got music playing on the TV. If I'm in here recording and the mic picks it up, you know, there's plenty of videos I've had to scrap because you can hear the fucking music in the background, which really sucks. But the reactions are done intentionally. But again, I don't think that's... I'm not trying to steal from the artist. You know what I mean? I would give... Like, take the fucking money. Give it to the artist. I don't give a fuck. I'll just try to make it a different way. Because they unintentionally had copyrighted material in their live stream. And the other part that's very disturbing about this is that Senator Tillis has told us that he wants this to be a part- Fuck Senator Tillis. Part of American law by the end of the year. Without- Senator Tillis can kiss my grits. Much time for debate from advocacy groups or legislators or the people. We don't have a say on this and that's why it's not. very disturbing that the senator would try to get this proposed law made law by the end of 2020. The revolution has begun. All right, so now let's turn back to the article. That means we should send you to jail right now, right? Because you used three seconds of Guardians from the Galaxy. So we should send you to jail now. Fucking ridiculous. You know, what happened to, what happened to word of mouth used to be the best publicity you could have. You know, somebody says, oh, I saw this movie, I heard this album, it's fucking great, you gotta hear it. That was the best you could get. Everybody hopes for that. And now you want to send people to jail for it? All right, it says right here, Since Tillis unveiled the proposal, many in the Tillis. technology industry have come out against it. According to the protocol, as many as 18 organizations, including tech trade groups and advocacy organizations have written to Congress begging them to decline the omnibus provision. So the biggest one I think is the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, they Never have major concerns, as it says here, around the bill and having a negative impact on creators, internet users, and more. I like this particular provision right here, which says, this could ruin the lives of regular people and the chance of a felony would impact both expression and innovation. Bro, I've had weed on my record for 14 years. Proper eight, 3.5 grams. That's right. On my record for 14 fucking years. That was a misdemeanor. I haven't been able to rent an apartment. My name's not on this lease. 
Can't imagine what a felony would do. And for, for streaming some shit. She continued. And that really is true. Again, if you are convicted of a felony, oftentimes that is a minimum sentence of jail time that could drastically impact your rights going forward in society, whether or not you can vote or you can possess a firearm or have some other civil activities. So it's a real big deal to have a felony, and especially when there's the chance that under this new law, you could be convicted of a felony, go to jail, all for unintentional conduct. Now let's turn to the final portion of the article, and it says right here, what does this mean for Twitch streamers? Well, for now, nothing should change. Twitch streamers will still have to avoid DMCA strikes, but it's still going to be a slap on the wrist rather than a jail cell. Which so does that mean that I can't play games on the Twitch then? I shouldn't do that? <laughs> I'm really happy for. Um, it says here, anyone sharing content on Twitch, YouTube, or Instagram should keep an eye on the bill, however. The situation is expected to be resolved soon, and if it falls against content creators, it could change the DMCA saga all over again, and I totally believe that. We're fine. If this were the case, and this is the scary part. A lot of times these laws get passed without us even knowing. They just get passed and all of a sudden we wake up. It's kind of like COPPA last year. We wake up what is and that? now our channel is disabled. The features of our channel are gone and we can no longer provide for our families with the revenue we get well, from the social media platforms. I don't get any... Of this I'm trying out. to get people to go to my fucking Patreon for a dollar, dude. I can't feed myself, never mind my family. And now all this shit's coming to an end, man. Did I pick a fucking a bad time to get into internet creation, dude? Fuck. Uh, judgment Day for Tillis' proposal, which includes the Case Act and Trademark Modernization Act, which I really want to talk about, make videos about, too, is expected to be December 11th. I believe that's been extended to December 18th. Congress has confirmed the bill must be passed before the government shut 2020 shutdown on that date. So we have time but not a lot of time. And a really negative part about this whole thing is this last line of this article, which reads, Amazon, which owns Twitch, has yet to publicly comment on the proposal. Jeffrey, get your fucking shit together, son. Get your shit together. You got enough money, bro. Stop being greedy. Huh? Don't make me bark in a microphone, bro. Stop it. Don't fuck around. You got enough money, dude. Open your fucking face and say something. Put your dick away. Put the cell phone down. And help the rest of us out, will you? You fucking bald wonder son of a bitch. That frustrates me so bad. Yeah. I think Amazon, yeah. who has a major interest in this... Of course. I didn't even know before I watched this video that Amazon owned Twitch. Did you know that? I had no idea, dude. Stay out front in this and speak to these senators and senators... Fuck Senator Tills. Tillis, whatever your name is. Tillis, and say, this is not appropriate. Listen, I think everyone should be open to changing things because copyright holders do have rights too. They should, oh, yeah, they absolutely. Can't just pass law, secret laws. No. And push. No, 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 yes, that's the point, dude. Copyright, whatever the fuck he just said, those people have the right to protect their, their things. Just like we do, right? You can't have a world where everything is the Wild West. Nobody owns anything. How are you going to monetize, right? How are you going to make money? How are you going to be original? How are you going to do this shit? So they do need to have protection. But so do we. We need protection. You can't be passing laws whenever the fuck you want. I know that's what this dude is basically saying, but let me let him talk. I think everyone should be open to changing things because copyright holders do have rights too. And they should. However, we can't just pass law, secret laws, and push them into effect at the last month of And by the way, you want to you want to Senator Tillis, you motherless fuck. You son of a bitches. You can pass this law in December when motherfuckers are still waiting for a stimulus check. People still ain't got their unemployment motherfuckers getting kicked out of their homes because they can't go to work and this is what you're concerned about? This is what you're worried about. Even the people in your home state of North Carolina, forget the rest of the world, dude. This is what you do for them? This is how you take care of your people? Real piece of shit, man. Being a substantial debate and substantial input from content creators. It just can't happen. 
So I have to tell you, I'm really frustrated with this. I don't usually like to make videos in which I'm angry or, or negative, but I want to make it a point to everyone out there. Why that is not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Do you understand how important it is for people to see you in a moment of anger a little bit if you're upset about something a little bit? Because it shows that you're fucking human, dude. And that's important. Because I think too many people think, oh, if I get angry, I have a mental illness and I got problems. Like, no, no, no. There's a, there's a difference. But we need to stop acting like these emotions don't exist. Address them. I'm not saying let it take over your whole video or take over your life or let it run things and not be, you know, a positive person or whatever. But you can't just ignore those feelings because they're not convenient. That's not healthy. Is that you have to watch carefully these laws that are being passed, especially now. They're changing so rapidly and they're reducing our rights to have free speech online. Tell me about it. want online rapidly. And at some point in time, the Internet may be just a place or corporations and I I'm don't sure want it will. to happen. So really be aware of these laws that are coming out right now. How am I supposed to How am I supposed to be aware? Dude, I have no food in my refrigerator. You want to talk real shit? Like I have some, but not really and not really enough. I don't have enough food in my refrigerator. I have no money in the bank. I need to come up with money for a medical marijuana license by the beginning of next month, and I have absolutely no idea where that revenue is going to come from. This is the last... I've been on these pills for eight years, and they're about to take them from me and put me on a weed program, which is cool and everything, but... Where am I supposed to worry about this? Outside of my own life? Not that it's not important. I don't mean to sound like I'm a self-absorbed person, but... These are things that I have to worry about because they're going to directly affect my life right now. This shit will affect my life also, but I can't make a certain amount of money and then be okay with it. It's not how this works. So I would love to be able to stay up on all of these laws and keep an eye on what the government is doing, but my heart can't handle it, dude. Especially knowing that I can't call somebody and have them change their mind they're not going to want to hear me out they don't care what i got to say i can't stress myself out more than i already am dude so i'm not going to try to stay up on these laws if there's shit that i could vote for or against you know then come and get me but if there's nothing that i can do i don't i don't want to stress myself out over it i got too many problems in my regular life i'll let the people that don't have problems try to take care of this shit because they can have the extra stress I can't. Not, you could lose everything you have. I see three key takeaways from this new law that may put Twitch streamers in jail. The first one is that you need to contact your local representative in America and make sure he or she knows that you oppose this new law. I don't care what it takes. Text them, email them, contact them in person, but wear a mask and tell them that this is not satisfactory. You need the ability to stream live- Dude, I did the same thing before they legalized weed in New Jersey. I'm gonna bring it up again. ACLU is all over the place talking about, you know, tell the tell the Congress, write the Congress, write the, write the Senate, the justices. I did all that, and all they did was write back and tell me to go fuck myself. They don't care. Live content and not accidentally have a copyright strike that sends you to jail. The second takeaway is that you can contribute to the Electronic Frontier Foundation's opposition to Senator Tillis's law. If you would like to donate to their cause, I'm putting a link to the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I don't have money for that. Section below. Finally, the third takeaway is only stream video games according to the permissions of the game developer. If you do not know the policies, if you don't know where to find them, no. go to Google, type in the name of the video game that you want to stream, and then type streaming policies. That will pull up the website for the game developer, and you can read all the different policies that are applicable, and you can know for sure what you can and cannot do when you're streaming that game. As a side note, do not use copyrighted music in the background of your video game live streams. It may I be don't. tempting. 
A lot of these new video games like Cyberpunk 2077 have this ability to turn off the in-game music and you may want to fill it with copyrighted music, popular music that you want to have in there. Don't do it. Use music that you've created, use music that you have permission to use, or use royalty-free music in the background. Never use copyrighted music that you do not have permission to. If you do, this could be your ticket to jail. Thanks for joining me in the fight against these what I feel are ludicrous new proposed laws if you want to hit the subscribe button great otherwise thanks for watching I know I know BSDC should have the ability to do that but I don't think the computer is strong enough to be able to handle uh, idiots have no idea how much copyright claim system actually gets abused enough to where all half the population of the globe would be in prison yeah, this is even stupider than the war on drugs. Use content to blackmail Twitch streamers. So, I guess I gotta shut everything. Everything's gotta be shut down, huh? That I guess that's it. It's over. Are we all done? How can I? I guess reactions are over, right? What's the point of doing this Patreon thing? I'm sure that's gonna be in there too. So, I, I don't know. What, what do we do? I have no idea. I mean, I'll, I was going to save this for a podcast, but I'll just I'll upload it now. Just because it's I, I want to eat something. I'm hungry, so... Oh, fuck, I didn't take my... Did it, what's today, dude? Oh, no. Wednesday. No, Wednesday is still closed. This is how I got to do it. So I can remember what fucking day that I took. Cause I'm bad with this shit, dude. And then tonight, well, I gotta wait a half hour before I can eat. But now I'm starving, dude. So this is not good. But I'm I'm gonna end this here because I was gonna save it for a podcast. But you know what? I'll just talk about some other shit because this is important. Because this is. This could very well, and I mean, we're fucked, dude. I was originally, I took the podcast off of YouTube, right? Maybe I might have to just, because I don't use music anymore. Maybe I cut out the intros and just post the podcast on YouTube, and it becomes a YouTube podcast channel, because reactions aren't going to work, you know? And nobody is signing up for the Patreon anyway. Not that there's nothing on there, but if, if it affects Twitch and YouTube, I have to go through YouTube to post to Patreon. So, we're fucked. That's it. I don't know I don't know what to do, dude. I, I really don't. I have no idea. I think I'm just screwed. And it's snowing. That's great. Great. Just what I need. They said it was going to snow. I knew it was going to snow. Just kind of hoping that it wasn't going to. What are you going to do? Whatever. All right, I'm just going to post this up. What do we do? What do we do for the future of this channel? I'm asking you. I'm not going to cut this out and put it in the beginning because it's going to take too long to rip and in case the power goes out. I'll have to put a separate video up. Fuck it.